Is the music really loud? Is it loud? It's loud. It's a little loud. Yeah. Okay. And we have started going live to see it. Okay. I like the music though. <laughs> oh, you don't have to turn it off. I like it. Okay. Keep it on. We have already started the live um, video on Facebook, so I'm going to share it out. And so if you want to share it, feel free. What did you just say you are posting on the Facebook? It's live on Facebook right now. The, oh my God, let me see. I'm sharing it. <laughs> It's actually a dance party.
We're going to start in about three minutes, so feel free to keep the dance party going. Funky, isn't it? Right, there's three. Um, what kind of thing we need to prepare for this? Do we you need a uh, pen, paper, stuff, and maybe a ruler? <laughs> you could use a ruler. Yeah, yeah, pen, and paper, or pencil and paper, and your drum. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. All right. So we are live on Facebook Video's class, but we'll, we'll try not to think about that. But that way, if somebody wants to tune in and can. And so if you want to share us on Facebook, you could. Uh, so this is, we're going to start now. And if anyone else joins the Zoom room, um, I'll just let them in. But no, no Zoom, Zoom bomber, I hope. Hope not. We have a, we have a secret security password, so probably not. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, and so also I have um, I have something that I'll share with you all, which is this. This is this this is a workshop all about writing and reading Jimbe notation. Tim's joining us too. It looks like. Hey, Tim. And just like um, other classes, I think if you if you want to mute yourself, which I think you all are, and then if you have any questions, um, just let me know and unmute yourself. Okay. So, hey Tim, where'd you go? I'm gonna just pull up the Facebook page here so that if anyone has any questions on Facebook, I can answer them that way too. Let's see. And for anyone who's tuning in who um, we don't know each other, my name's Clifford Kaufman and I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, as is um, almost everyone here in this Zoom workshop. Um, Joyce is in Portland, Oregon. And um, I've been studying West African drumming for about 22 years now. 
uh, it's it's an endless process and always enjoyable. And I'm going to share for those that are not familiar with ways of notating for the djembe, uh, you don't have to be experienced with uh, writing music or with Western music at all, and you can it can be a great learning tool. Uh, now, my teachers, such as Mamadi Keita, Famadi Konate, Bolokada Konde, they, they, they don't teach with notation. They teach orally, as I believe they've learned. Um, and there's definitely a lot of value in learning that way, but this can be an extra tool. Uh, so that's what this is all about. And there might be some variations on how people do this. This is how I do it. Um, it works for me. Uh, for really basic feels, it can help you learn a feel. But when you get into more, more a little bit more nuanced feels, I'd say you can notate the basic, but then the feel. The only way to really get the feel is listening and emulating and imitating. So let's just go here. If anyone has questions on Facebook, feel free to, to put them on here, and I will uh, I will be happy to. Answer. So I'll look down at my iPad every now and then to see if anyone has any questions. Okay. So this is the key. The X would mean slap. The circle or dot would mean tone. And the B is bass. So, and then I'll, I'll get to this at the bottom in just a minute. I'm going to move this closer and tell me if you can see this. And I'll, I'll, I'll post that as well. I'll send you all that. That, so then ours also, in addition to the B, the B, the dot, and the X, R for right, L for left. Now that could be important because maybe there's a specific handing and that's going to help you with the, the feel or swing of a of a rhythm. And so you'll want to know what the handing is. Now I might not put the handing if it's just a hand to hand sort of movement. If it, but if there's if there's something different, I definitely would want to write down a handing. So if you have this, let's see, I'm going to lower this a little bit. Oh, I'm not too close here. You see here at the top, you have this bracket of two. That would be the most, most simple one you could do, just two beats. Uh, now, you probably wouldn't write one like that. But if you, if you just looked at that two-beat bracket and what I'm going to send you, That's all the variations you could have within two beats. There's 16 different variations. You could play nothing for two beats. You could have two slaps for two beats. You could have two tones. You could have two basses. You could have a tone, then a slap. You could have a slap, then a tone. You could have a tone, then a bass. You could have a bass, then a tone. You could have a bass, then a slap. You could have a slap, then a bass, and on and on. So you have all these different options. And that's what, the, what this sheet that, I, um, have that I'll send you shows. So if we put together two twos, we get you know four. Typically they'd be written we'd, things would be written as here in, in groups of threes or fours. So there there's two threes, which is six, or four fours, which is eight. And so the most common way that you'd see something is probably gonna be twelve beats or sixteen beats. So that means it'd be four groups of three or four groups of four. There are rhythms, and there there are exceptions, and also d depending what culture. If you're talking about music from other cultures, then you know you could have a three, then a two, which would be five. You could have you know a three, then a two, then a two, that would be seven. But but for all the music that I've ever encountered with West African music, the the general feel or what what would in Western music be called a time signature is in four or twelve, or a sixteen beat cycle, or twelve or nine. Or 18, which is two nines. Yes, Joyce, did you have a question? Or did they? No. 
Okay, I thought maybe. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Yeah, Glenn? Is anybody else having trouble with the video besides me? Oh, is it lagging some for you? <laughs> well, it, it'll just like freeze for a little bit. And then, so okay. am I the only one having that problem? Yes, no? Because um, I don't know if it's just my internet slower. Uh, what's the problem? Your uh, video frozen? It, well, it freezes for a short time and then comes back on. So it's not. Um, last night I had the same problem. And tonight I connect directly to the internet. I do not use my, my route, routing. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you knew an ethernet cable and also, you know, I upgraded my internet just because it, um, you know, it made sense to, if, if, if you're going to be doing a lot of stuff online, it's a good idea to upgrade. But anyway, um, so we're going to, okay. we're going to today, sorry, yeah, did you have a, any other questions or comments? Um, Yes, yes, uh, Clifford. When yeah. you show this to us, you have to be really close so I can we can see it. Okay, okay, but I'll send that to you as well. But let me show you again. Okay. This is all the variations with only two beats. How many different variations you could have? Combinations of silence, tone, slap, or bass. Jen, could you Jen Jen, could you turn down your volume? Quite loud. Is that good, Joyce? That's better. So, so with just two beats now, now you saw there's the, the lines, there's two dots, then there's the bracket and two dots. That just means you keep repeating your repeat sign. Uh, so if you're doing that, it would just be one, two, one, two, one, two. If you had, if you had three, one, one, three then it would just be one two three one two three so I know that's kind of simple but you could start so everyone you all have some pencil and paper go ahead and let's do two brackets of three two brackets of three and then I want you to um, let's say let's do bases and tones any combination leaving no spaces. So that'll be six beats. If anyone has any questions um, who, who's watching on Facebook, Feel free to ask. This is all about notating for the djembe, or you could you could use it for other hand drums as well. But it's just a good way to sort of like a shorthand way to to jot down an idea or something you learn, or to read something that's already been written. Clifford, is that is that this? Yep, is that, that is this an sheet? That, that is an example of that. Yes. Okay, so you're asking us to write some of our own now while you're telling us what they are. Yeah, so three, so you could do a line, then a bracket of three, and then a bracket of three, and then another line. Tim, uh, can you hold that up again? Is that bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass? Is that right? Okay, so now, now not, not a rule, but often, with the djembe, we play hand to hand. So you said bass tone, bass, bass. Oh, sorry, what was it again? Bass tone, tone, bass, tone, bass. Is that it? Can you unmute yourself, Tim? Okay. Um, hold it up again, please, Tim. So Tim wrote out a six beat phrase. Bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. Okay, so if we're playing hand, hand to hand, bass, tone, bass, uh, bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. Is that correct? Yeah. Bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. One, two. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Okay, so that's what Tim just wrote. Gwen, what did you write down? I'm just going to unmute yourself. If you would unmute yourself and say something so it'll, the camera will go to you. Okay. I just, I just, it's real simple. Base, base, tone, base, base, tone. Okay. Base, base, tone, base, base, tone. So that would sound like just playing hand to hand. For anyone who's just joining us, this is the X is for slap, the T is for tone, the B is for bass. And I just had everybody do two brackets of three, so six beats. One, two, three, one, two, three. And, and no spaces, no rest, and just basses and tone. Okay. Uh, Marianne, can you unmute yourself and tell us what you have? Oh, you have the opposite of Gwen. Tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. Tone, tone, Absolutely. Bass. <laughs> right. Yep, and Marianne has a has a, a, a something over her drum to give that muffled sound. Um, All right. Th thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Well, Jen, Jen. Okay. Um. I wrote a lot. Look all the way, all the, uh, all the combination. <laughs> okay, give us, give us. Um, let's see, six of those beats. What are the first six? Okay. Um, first six, bass tone, bass, bass, bass tone. Okay, bass tone, bass, bass, bass tone. Six beats. So bass tone, bass, bass, bass tone. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, Joyce, do you have one yet? If you can unmute yourself, Joyce, if you can mute yourself, uh, Jen Jen. Okay, uh, mine is, mine is bass, tone, 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 bass, tone. Yeah, and that looks really nice and neat and big too. Easy to read. Um, big it. for the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and so you could put dots right after each, uh, right after the first line, and then dots after before the, the second line. Oh, Siri's talking to me for some reason. She is. <laughs> yeah. She liked that rhythm. That was bass. You play it again. Um, bass tone, 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 bass tone. Nice. Okay, so if that repeated. Nice. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So, so you could start with, you know, a short amount of beats, such as six beats, and and you could go create create a lot of different ideas and combos just by writing those down, and that can be a great learning process just to write down an idea and then play it, see what it sounds like. So, so uh, let's see, let's see uh, Joyce. Is Even with just six beats and two options for sounds, nobody had the same pattern. Um, so, so imagine if we add a third sound, slaps, or if we start adding, putting spaces in there. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's do six beats, and this time, let's uh, let's leave one space per every three, and we'll do basses and tones still. And I'll do one too. Uh, what do you mean one? Space for every three, I mean three, three beats for six count, right? Yeah. So that means that means for one of those three beats, there will be nothing. It'll be just a silence or a rest. Okay. And for for two for each each three, so there's two groups of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There'll be a space in on any of those beats. It could be a different beat from the first three to the second three.
if anyone in Facebook on Facebook has any questions or wants to write one, feel free to put it down as well. Hey Jim, I see you. I lost my pen. For anyone who's just joining us, we're just talking about notating x is flat, the dot is tone, b is base, uh, b is base, and r is for right, l is for left. All right, who who, ha who has one and wants to wants to share it? Tim, you want to unmute yourself and say something so we can, if you can. Are you having? I cannot hear you. Okay, it's not working. Okay, let me see what it, let me see it again. Base tone, base space tone tone. Is that right? Base tone, base space tone tone. So we, we're getting some cool, interesting patterns. Um, so I, I, I may not have been super clear about what I was asking, but I was asking for there to be a space on each bracket. But that, anyway, that um, I like that that rhythm. Who else has one? Uh, okay, Gwen, you unmute yourself and say what it is. Oh, you, you did it, and did you do it in four? Well, I didn't draw the three lines. Sorry. Oh, no worries. <coughs> I totally eliminated <laughs> It's just uh, bass, tone, tone, bass. Uh, can you hold it up a little higher? I okay. don't know. Space, space, tone, tone, space, space. We we say it again, Gwen, or say it again, Gwen, Susan. Space. Hold, keep holding it up, please. <laughs> you have to space, memorize it. Space, tone, tone, space. Again. Space, tone, tone, space. There it is. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. <laughs> so I'm following this hand to hand. One, two, three, four, five. So if you follow that hand to hand movement, that's going right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Yeah. Who else would like to share one? Marianne, would you like to? Or Jen Jen? Jen Jen. You hold it up again, please. And say something when you hold it up so it goes to you. Can you see? Bass, slap, space. Slap, slap, bass? Slap, slap, tone. Slap, slap, tone. Okay, so you're adding the slap. So, uh, I don't keep on up this time. Okay, nice. Marianne? Mine is almost exactly like Tim. Ah. Can you see it? Bass, tone, 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 bass, tone. It's different though. Except he, yeah, he didn't have a space in the first measure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Bass. I'm using the same hands. I'm not switching them out. Let me see it again, please. Can you see? Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, one, 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 two, three
Yeah, nice. Oh, this <laughs> is, there's some nice, nice patterns. Joyce, do you want to share yours? I think mine is the same as Gwen's. It was. It was. Oh, we do. We have one repeat after. That's of, of twelve. That's not, not bad. Good one, Gwen. Hey, Clifford, can you hear me now? I can hear you. You're really loud. Um, if, uh, there is, you, if you go into your advanced settings, you can lower your volume. Um, okay, so that's for anyone on Facebook who's just joining us. I'll just show it again. This is our key. X is for slap. T is for, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the dot is for tone. The B is for bass. R for right. L for left. And then we, do, we can do brackets of threes or fours. I mean, we can do others as well, but those would be the most common. So we were just making up some, some patterns in six, two groups of three. Uh, okay, let's go, let's do, let's add slaps now. Let's do um, basses, tones, and slaps, but no spaces. So if you're just joining us, grab some paper, grab your you drum. Say it again, what, what do you want us to do? Basses, tones, and slaps. But no, no, not leaving any space empty. Not okay. leaving any any beat empty. Anyone have one they want to share yet? Jen Jen. Can you see? Bass tone slap, tone tone slap. Yeah. Uh, is it one slap in the, the bass tone slap? Tone tone slap, correct? Yeah. Right. Uh, looks like uh, Laura Forrester's on here, and, uh, and also Leslie says, hey, guys, and hey, Laura. If Laura and Leslie, if you have any, any questions, or if you want to, if you want to, Type one down. You could put B's, T's, and X's, or S's for your slaps. Um, we're doing three groups of three: bass tone slap, bass tone slap, or whatever combination in six beats. Oh, okay, who else wants to share one? Gwen. If you could unmute yourself and say something, so that it brings the camera to to your, so that people can see it. Sorry. You see it? Not yet. Well, hmm. I see it. <laughs> yeah, and Jen Jen's muted, but for some reason, okay, try say something again, Gwen. Hello. There you are. There I am. Is that tone, tone, slap, bass, slap, tone? Correct. I'll be surprised. Job, if, uh, thank you. Thank you for you all. You're all teaching me today. Thank you. Uh, I'll be surprised if any of you have the same the same pattern for for this one. Okay. Who who has not shared one yet for this one that would like to? I didn't follow the rules. I did a two part uh, bass and tone. So you did a bass and tone. Yeah. Can you subtract one of those basses or tones and put a slap there? I'm gonna give it a go. Okay. Uh, Marianne. Slap, bass, slap, tone, bass, tone. Yes, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I 
That's cool. I like yeah, it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, mine is, um, I just put a flap in for my last base. Can you see that? A little higher. And say something again. Hold it up a little higher, a little further back, and oh. say something. It's um, bass, bass, tone, 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 slap. Bass, bass, tone, 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 slap. Yeah. It's really hard to figure out where to put it. Nice. So you all, um, we could combine all these and create some really cool patterns. Uh, Tim, do you want to share one? I didn't do one for that one. Sorry. I'm working on technical stuff. Oh, no worries. No worries. Hey, Clipper, we should all play our thing all together. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do this. We'll do this for, for um, so everyone, this will be uh, a nice sort of, um, you know, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, random cacophony sort of thing because there's no way we're going to be in time with each other with all the different sync and lag issues but but let's just do this for fun so does everyone un unmute yourself oh, oh wait, wait wait let me share mine first okay this is mine bass tone tone slap slap bass okay Everybody ready? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a random jam. Here we go. <laughs> and and choose your own tempo too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Each okay. in their own key. All right, all right, all right. All right. How, how about we at least do the same tempo? How about like one, yes. two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. one, two, yes. three, four, five, six, one. jam <laughs> scary okay yeah i've heard so enough now, of that <laughs> <laughs> so now let's do um any any combo spaces sounds that you want and this is the last one we're gonna do for six so we can do <laughs> leslie said random jam hey we're gonna do another random jam on this one so any combo you want but, uh, but leave space this time so we're doing six beats three brackets of three one, two, three. One, two, three. B for bass. Circle for tone. X for slap. Or leave space. You said three brackets of three or two brackets of three? Two brackets of three, sorry. Two, okay. Okay. Who would like to share theirs? Jen Jen. If you could say something and then show it. I think you're muted, Jen Jen. Bass slap tone. Space, space, slap. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I like it. All right, uh, who else? Okay, Joyce, go ahead. I want to hear it from you. Okay. Um, it's bass, tone, tone, space, slap, slap. I almost did that same one. You'll see mine's almost exactly the same, but it's not okay. the same. Okay. I 
like it. My, uh, mine was <coughs> bass, tone, tone, slap. So I just didn't have the second slap. So, so the one that I did would be like. Thanks, Laura. Laura, if you want to, if you want to write one, I'd love to. I'd love to play it. Um, just, just, just like I said, put a B for bass, a T for tone, and an S for slap. So you could just put, you know, like B T T B S F or ho however. Um, okay, who else uh, has not yet shared one that would like to say something first, Gwen? Please. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot technical stuff. Bass slap tone tone slap bass slap tone tone slap. Nice. Yeah. You're hired. Thank you. Tim, do you want to share one? Yep. Here's a, uh, let's see here. Bass slap, slap, tone, tone, slap. Cool. And Marianne, do you have one you'd like to share? Uh, yeah. It's the bottom one. Slap, slap, bass slap, tone, slap, slap. Bass slap tone, slap slap, bass slap tone, slap slap, bass slap tone. Cool. Let's see. Wow. All right, let's play them all together. Let's go, let's, let's try a different <laughs> tempo. Different tempo. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, like um, uh, try like like um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cacophony, that's music. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't unhear it. Okay. Oh, you never will be able to. Okay, and so uh, Laura has one. This is Laura's. Her Laura's is slap bass space bass space tone. So it would be like. Uh, uh, Am I playing right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we were to, um, if we were to be in the same room, or uh, uh, or if we were to record these parts together, they, they're actually a lot of these parts going together could sound really interesting and really cool. Um, I really like that, Laura. That's a really cool pattern. And uh, Leslie says. Laura, that looks fun. I am, I am way impressed. Yes, Gwen. Maybe, maybe we should teach these so that when we all get together again, we can play them together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so if you all want to meet yourselves again. So if we then take brackets or four, We'll do two brackets of four.
So eight beats. I hear music in the background. You hear music in the background? Yeah, like, hang on. Sounds like you too. Um, I wonder, it, it, might, it might be Danielle. She has a, a, a meeting downstairs, so it might be that. I'm not sure. Is it loud? It sounds like you too? No, it's, it's kind of quiet but I hear it very plainly. Oh, interesting. I, I don't know what it is because I don't, I don't think I'm playing you too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so- It's gone me, now. Okay. <laughs> they just made an appearance for, yeah. Uh, okay, so four beats. There's even more possibilities with eight beats than with six beats. Uh, <clears throat> now, if you if you do six beats, if you just double that, you have twelve beats, and a lot of a lot of rhythms are in twelve. Though a lot of accompaniments, <coughs> a lot of accompaniments are often six beat repeating patterns, um, and then a lot of patterns are, are eight beat repeating patterns. Like if I write this one, you might recognize this. Slap, slap, tone, tone, slap. slap. <laughs> yeah, slap, space, space, slap, slap, space, tone, tone. So now I'm gonna write the handing in too. Right, left, right, right, left. Now, if you follow that handing, one is your right hand, the second beat's your left hand, which is a space, the third's your right, and then the fourth one is your left hand again. And then you start over again. The first beat is your right, then the space would be your left, so then you go back to the third beat on your right, and then the fourth on your left. So, so many rhythms, patterns, follow that hand-to-hand -hand movement. And so that's why it's a really good idea to get really familiar with the logic of that. Uh, I mean, I can think of many rhythms and many accompaniments that have that. You know, you have a... That follows, or that follows, as they're in six, or uh, or that follows, or. Uh, following hand-to-hand -hand movement. Um, even into more complicated patterns like, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> those are all following a hand-to-hand -hand with skipping some, some of those beats. Yes, Jen Jen. So you know all this rhythm by heart, right? You don't really depend to have to write down. You just know this rhythm go with that. Once you see this, you know the rhythm. Yeah, well, I do write things down sometimes for just like I might forget something. And also, I, there was a time where I was relying on that more, on writing it more. For certain, it depends what it is, but but for learning, I've mostly learned orally or by ear. And so, and so, and then, and then, yeah, repetition and committing it to memory and playing it enough times that it feels comfortable, the movement feels comfortable. Uh, so you now orally, like, you play now, you, uh, you learn that and then you jog down to help the memory. Well, correct? well, yeah, or I might, I might have an idea and I'll write it down. Or, um, but also like the 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 Sega Sidibe phrase that um, that I that I shared with you all in the class on Wednesday night. That one, um, 
I did listen to the CD of him playing it, but I learned it from the notation. And that's the one that was that's like uh, like. Uh, Um, but like I said, the feel of it, the only way that I could get the feel of that would be to listen a lot, especially, especially a lot of, lot of the feels with, with West African drumming and West African music. There's some real subtleties in like where a note gets moved a little bit. And so I know I've, I've heard so many conversations of experienced drummers talking about feel or not so experienced drummers talking about feel. And it can be kind of frustrating. It can, can kind of be like um, like musicians talking about play this behind or ahead of the beat. Um, is th there can be a lot of confusion. And uh, so anyway, so for me, the only way to really get feel is first to just get it straight. You know, get it without any sort of extra little push or pull, and then and then to listen enough to start to internalize the feel. And that can take that takes much longer. The feel. It's sort of like I think like. Um, like learning an accent or a dialect of a language. Like, like you're, you might be able to start to speak a language, but to, to really get that accent or dialect, it's going to take a lot longer. Um, yeah. Any other, any other questions or comments? So, so the idea is that, you know, we, we're, we're getting creative with writing our own patterns, but then also, you know, like, like for those of you in the class on Wednesday nights, the, um, you know, I sent you all these different warm-ups and combos. And so those, those can be really, you know, a good way to get your hands moving. And what I'd recommend doing is don't try to do them all. Find a few that you're really enjoying playing and internalize, memorize those, and play those. You know, play that same one every day um, or ev two every day. And really, really try to make that so it's a part of, of what you, you know, have in you. And then, because then, then I feel like it becomes a building block or your foundation. Uh, you know, when building a house, there has to be that foundation, or else the house is not solid. So, um, so same thing. If you if you take something, you want to memorize it, internalize, and get it to the point where you can play it comfortably. So that's why I spend a lot of my time just working on the sounds and just basic movements because because I I feel like there still can be improvement on those. And so if I just try to play complicated phrases, that's not doing really much good for me because if the phrase doesn't sound clear in the sound or the timing, then um, or if it's not clear in my head, then that's not going to work very well. Uh, so, it's, uh, so, I, so I often feel um, feel like you know it's a it's a whole perpetual beginner thing. And also, the the more you know, the more you realize what there is to know. Um, so, and also not being not being from a West African um, tradition, there's uh, there's stuff that I just have to accept. I'll never understand certain things and never know because I didn't grow up in that tradition. But I can appreciate it and um, and um, and still love it. Uh, okay, so we'll take these four. Hey Clifford. Yes. So uh, I have a question yeah, hey, on this is notation. It, is it possible to turn your volume down a little bit? Still, it's it's really loud. Does this help at all? That does help. Yeah. Okay. I can't find any settings on the. It's an iPad I'm using. So. Okay. Yeah. It's anyway. different on the iPad. Yeah. So um, my question is: These are all basically each beat. You know, three, four, two. Um, what if you have subdivisions? Like, if, let's say these are eighth notes. What if you have sixteenth notes? How do you put those in? Okay. I would. So typically, how I see sixteenth notes written would be just four, four. So it would look like this. Just like you hear in time signature four four, it'd be four fours making sixteen. So, so it, lo it looks sort of like what sixteenth notes, except for you wouldn't have that extra bar or extra flag going across. So it'd look like this. Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so like, so like I played a rhythm accompaniment uh, that Mamidi Kato took for so far. Now I, that would be notated like. Uh, Can you all see that? So now the handing, if I follow the hand-to-hand -hand movement, I'll write it in. Can you 
Did you all see that? So, so that's. So notes I'm ghosting or playing the, the notes in between. faster I'm not going to go th ghost those notes. It's going to jumble things and it's just too much movement. For so I'm not ghosting those notes, but I'm doing that same handing though as if I were ghosting those notes. Okay, so yes, Jen Jen. I have so many questions. Um, oh, good. <laughs> we can do another one of these too. The, the one that you just did on the notation, that would be very helpful for our Wednesday class to make me really understand where the beats are, have the space. And I thought I did do that. Did I have way? Uh, I'm the only one that does if there, not. If there's something, if there's something that, I, that I'm, I could have missed something, so, so we can figure out what that is, and then I'll, then I'll send it to you. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yes. Uh, so, being um, that you know that we're doing an online class now, you know we used to meet in person. Um, th there's 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 pros and cons, obviously. Pros being that we can have Joyce with us, and you know Joyce is in Portland, Oregon. Joyce used to take classes with me in Portland, so that's that's a big pro. Um, but playing together is not really a great option because because as you as we as you saw when we play together, we c it's impossible to be in sync because there's there's not. This, we're not in the same time. We're, um, but what we are able to do is like like um, is everyone's muted except for me, and then I'll play a track, and then I'll play, and everyone plays along. And so we are able to practice stuff together. Um, but there was something else I was going to say about that, and I'm forgetting what that was exactly. Um, but uh, I, I, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, so talking about um, notating and following notation. Yeah. So so oh yeah so 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 that's why for 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 the class you know there's there's also notation most of them have handings unless the handings really straightforward and also play alongs and videos um, and and tomorrow the round um, table discussion that we're doing at this time um, that'll that's a lot that's that's some of those are some of the things that I'm going to talk about as you know ways of you know still making it hopefully a, a pretty good experience for. Um, for people participating, um, but um, but anyway, I'm digressing. So let's go into four four beats. So we'll do two groups of four. So it'll be eight total. So you do line dot one two three four one two three four dots line does your repeat sign, and we can repeat indefinitely. You know, with anything, we the longer we repeat something, the more we can internalize it. So it's a good idea to choose something that you're playing or learning, and once you get that you get your mind wrapped around it and you get your hand it under your hands where you can do it then th don't stop there keep doing it play it longer you know play it see if you can play it for 2 minutes or you know 5 minutes with some, you know maybe put on a track to play along to but um but then it's playing things for longer times that you start to really get it more internalized and in your muscle memory um and also uh also you know if you think about the traditions, like I remember Billy Conate, who's Famadu, one of Famadu's sons. He was in Portland, and we hosted him for some some workshops. And he said something, and I'd, I'd like to hear. We're Facebook friends, so I, I should ask him. But he said something to say. I think his first seven years of playing, um, he just played Kankany. And for those of you that know, um, if you don't know, Kankany is the smallest of the three dunums. The the dunum is the biggest. The song is the middlest. This one often plays the simplest patterns. It'll play things like, uh, or it might play, uh, or it might play. I mean, there's a lot of different patterns, but but often it's the simplest part. And I find, I find when I'm playing, if I'm playing something that's a little over my head, maybe I can play it, but I can't. My bandwidth is kind of stretched to its max. I'm not listening well, and I'm not necessarily understanding how everything fits together. But if I can play something simpler, I can hear how everything around me fits together. And uh, 
I find that to be the, um, like, I, I often like to just play an accompaniment, a simple accompaniment, or, you know, I, I don't necessarily need the solo at all. I, I don't feel like I'm a great soloist anyway, but I just like to just hear the music and hear everything around me. So I could be happy going bing, 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 bing. So, um, so anyway, so I'm digressing a lot now because we're talking about writing. So, okay, so we have the four groups of four. Let's do um, any combination of basses and tones. And, and feel free to, if, if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to send one. So we, you could just put Bs for basses, Ts for tones, um, and Ss for slaps. Or you could do dots or circles and Ss for tones and slaps. Yes, Gwen. Uh, I'm just clarifying. We're doing like the music for eight counts per measure, like two groups of four, and then another measure of two groups of four. Yes. Okay. And just spaces and tones. Yes. No spaces. Are we just repeating the eight beats to make? the two, or are we doing two different ones? Just just um, eight beats total, so four four, and four, like this. Yeah, that's what I have. Just two different sounds, bass, or, bass and slap, or bass and tone, or? Bass and tone, yep. Bass and tone. Yep. Leslie, I want to see, I want to see yours. Leslie Judson, please. Anybody else? If you if you put it on here on Facebook, um, I'll play it so we can hear it. Laura, do you have another one? So all so all it is is eight beats with a combination of either B Bs for basses or tones. You can make a circle or put a T for tone if you're if you're sending it on Facebook. And for those of you that maybe joined us late, here's the key. Uh, X's. X's are for slaps, the dot is for tone, the B is for bass, R for right, L for left, because you might want to have a handing. And then you have the, the, the grid of three, this one here. You have three and then three again, so six beats, and then four and four, which is eight. Now, you could repeat those. You could have three threes or four threes, so it'd be nine or 12. You could have four fours, which would be 16 beats. Those are the most common, though. I'm, I'm going to play mine while we're waiting. Bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone. And, and generally we're doing all these hand-to-hand, -hand, meaning our hands are alternating, moving back and forth. So the one that I did is... No worries, Leslie. I'm sorry if I put you on the spot. I'm just glad that you're here, Leslie. Okay, who else would like to share? Tim. Hi, Boyd. Okay, Tim. Tim. Tim left some spaces, so it goes. Uh, uh, let me see it again, please. Who else has one they want to share? Jen Jen? I like to create things. Here. Tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, bass. Ah. That's like the opposite of mine. Is that right? No, Pretty much. not the same. In this part. Can I see, hold a little closer, please. This, this is yours. This is mine. Uh, yeah, but basically the same idea. Um, you have a group, a group of three, three, and then two, which makes up eight. Uh, okay, who else hasn't shared one that would like to? 
Gwen. Tone, tone, bass, tone, bass, bass, tone, tone. Ah, I messed it up. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Good. I'm learning new things. This is we have to do this like every week, I think. If if you know, I'm gonna look into there are there are a few um, software platforms that were it may be actually possible to play live where everyone has a click going which I know not of not everyone's used to that but it actually might be possible to do some things live together but I definitely want to do um, get some videos of everyone playing like we talked about and then put that together okay who else wants to share one okay Joyce go ahead Joyce go ahead the Brady Bunch Oh my lordy. Bass tone, 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 bass tone, tone. Nice. I like it. All right, uh, Marianne. I'm going to drop off. Okay. Good to see you, Tim. Bye, Tim. Yep. Have a, have a good Bye, nice see everybody. Bye. Bass tone, tone, bass tone, bass tone, tone. Hey, and that's if ours are one bass off. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, one, two, three. Often, if you had two groups of four, I, I would count it more in two. One, two, one, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Else it? Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Did anyone not share theirs that wanted to? Okay. We're just about out of time, but let's do one more and let's leave, let's, let's add our slaps and leave spaces this time. So th th there, there, if anyone has the same one, unless you do one that's really straightforward, I, I'll be surprised. If anyone on Facebook wants to share one too, feel free. Oh, hi to Vince too. I, I, Vince, I hope you're doing well. If you're still on here, if you want to write one on, in the comments, I'd love to hear it. I'm going to play mine while we're waiting. Mine is bass, tone, slap, bass, slap. Oh, I'm going to play Laura's also. Laura's is... Nice, Laura. And then, Laura, what would it sound like if you left some spaces there and added maybe a slap or two? Okay, who, who has one ready to share? Jen Jen.
this one. Slap, tong tong slap, slap, bass. Okay. Is yours ready? I think this is going to be ugly, but. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like it. I'm messing it up. Cool. Yeah, because like the, the tones and slaps have to be on the same hand, so yeah. yeah. But you could substitute there. You could go. Uh, you could substitute your other hand for one of those. Um, okay. Instead of three. Um, uh, Laura has one, which is. Um, uh, ah, that's cool, Laura. that Laura okay uh, who Gwen have you say something please Gwen oh yeah sorry I keep forgetting so it's slap slap face tone tone face slap slap face tone tone face slap it and Joyce is yours ready yeah I just want to hear it I think it's gonna be ugly too Marianne just like you <laughs> that big blob is a space okay I don't know if it's possible to write an ugly one in my well, opinion. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, well, nice. So everybody got creative. Um, and and so that's the basic idea behind this notation. You know, I would start by you could you one way you could really get comfortable with it is just do some create some patterns in six or in, in eight. And then you could start going longer. And what you what probably will happen, some of the patterns you create mo almost definitely will be already out there. If not all of them, um, you, know, you know it's um, and then because there's, there's a lot, a lot of a lot of like like we've talked about in class, there's a lot of um, there's a logic where it's just subtraction, where where we might have a, a warm up sort of pattern and then we just subtract. So like if we're doing like if you you know. combination um, all right well hey hey Dave it's good to see you you on here as well and uh, Mark if you're still on here good to see you thank you everybody for tuning in and thank you all for participating in the zoom the, this zoom workshop um, tomorrow if you're free at 3 30 we're doing that round table discussion um, Damian Erskine great bass player in Portland Oregon world traveling musician uh, Jason Lavasser, who's also in Nashville, who um, has been doing um, performing and team leadership development um, for the colleges for, I think, around 20 years. Um, and uh, Michael Taylor, who go, who's known as Taylor, who's in Chicago, who teaches gym bass. Um, we're going to talk about getting creative in, um, t getting creative now, really. Uh, so that's tomorrow at 3.30. So um, thank you so much for participating. I really made this fun for me. Um, yes, Jen Jen. Um, 
tomorrow 5 30 are you live stream on the facebook so we don't have to go to the zoom uh 3 30. and i mean facebook it'll be are live you? on facebook oh, okay. at 3 30. yes this has been yeah. really helpful. This has been really helpful, Clifford. Oh, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that you found it helpful. It can be because, because you know, we, I, I find it's good to use our. You know, some people are very intuitive, and they don't want to count, and some people are really analytical, and they just want to count. And it's good to to learn the other if you're one way, and and to use different tools. So you have some different mm -hmm. tools for learning. Um, there's times where you don't want to be analytical, and there's times where it can be really helpful to be analytical. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, thank you so much, and um, and it was fun for everyone. The, everyone who tuned in, it was really good to see you all on here as well. Uh, yes, Jen Jen. Thank you. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. All right, see you all later. Bye. Bye.